Hey guys, um, this is a special video for the potential transfers that might happen in January. I've decided to do this video because um, I've noticed that there's never really a video about potential transfers when it's not the transfer window. So transfers that might happen. So recently we've been linked with um, Fabian Delph, who's just made his um, England debut and he can play in sort of a more attacking midfield role but also I think if we were going to go for him this would be the reason why he can play that CDM which we all know that we really need because like Arteta he has good games but then he also has bad games and when it's bad games the it's terrible and Flamini I do like him, He, you can tell that he is very passionate about the club, but he's not sort of there, he's not at his best anymore, he's sort of gone, so Delph, I think he's, I think we can get better, but then if we can't get anyone, he's better than Arteta and Flamini, and also he's English, so that'll build up our um English core that we're sort of slowly building up at Arsenal. Another CDM that we we're still linked with, which we were linked with um, in the summer, is uh, Sami Khedira. Every, nearly every place was saying in the summer that um, he, we were going to sign him, and he was coming. His agent was here. He was on his way to Arsenal, and but then it never really happened, and he stayed stayed at Real Madrid. But the key thing is that he hasn't signed a new contract and his contract runs out at the end of the season. So apparently we are waiting, we're either going to move for him in January or hope and wait for him to um, become a free agent. But I'd be better if we, even though we have to pay for him, it'd be better if we could get him in January because we need a CDM like now. Uh, with Arteta injured now, it's just showing how sort of weak and thin in the lines we are with things because now we've only got um, Flamini that's our only CDM like Diaby he's still getting back the fitness but he's more of an attacking midfielder anyway but we've got Coquelin who can also play in that CDM role but I, I'm not really convinced about him yet I think once he's not had enough games for anyone really Recent, well, he hasn't had enough games recently for anyone to make a judgment on him, so he might, they might put him there. But I think Wenger sees him more as sort of a left mid or sort of on the wings. So yeah, um, that moving on from um, CDMs, we've got um, we're linked with Chris Smalling, Manchester United centre back. As you will know again, that we are very um, thin on our lines with um, centre backs. So yeah, Chris Smalling, he can all, he can play in a number of positions on the back line, which would be quite good. But if he's not good enough to get into Man U's defence at the moment, and their defence is shocking, then if he can't get into their shocking defence, how is he going to improve our defence? Yes, he's English and he's fairly young, but I don't know... I'm not completely convinced about him, I guess. If we can't get anyone else, sort of like Delph, can't get anyone else, then yeah, we'll have to get him. But I don't know, I'm not convinced about him at the moment. But you never know, if he does come, then Arsene Wenger's got a um, history of turning not-so-great players into amazing players. Sort of look at Thierry Henry and stuff like that when he first came. Everyone doubted him. Everyone was sort of saying, oh, he can't score. And it was the same with Dennis Burkamp as well. When he came, everyone was saying, oh, he can't score. Oh, he's playing rubbish. And everything like that. And they now they're legends of the club. And they've got statues outside the Emirates and stuff like that. And that's why one thing I don't like a lot of fans sort of just writing a, a player completely off. Like when we signed Welbeck, a lot of people were sort of writing to him straight off. Which even before he kicked a ball for us, which I think is wrong. You need to give a player a chance because 
Wenger can make miracles, but then also, I think he says that he's not worried about spending money, but I still think he's got a mindset that he could, he needs to sort of make do with what he's got because he's been so used to not having any money really compared to like the big clubs that he's had to sort of move players round, make them fit in wherever they're needed. And he keeps on talking about like Diaby turning him into a proper centre defensive mid. Which, yeah, but Diaby gets injured all the time. He's not in a centre defensive mid. They have to go in for tackles. And every time Diaby goes in for a tackle, he seems to injure himself. So it's not that good. And I think Wenger, we've got so much money now. We just need to spend. We just need to spend it. We've got so much money. We can compete for any player, really. And we, we're we not going to do very good if we don't fill in key roles. And like, I know we a lot of people are crying out for a striker in um, the summer transfer window, but after, after we got Alexis and then we got Welbeck. But I didn't think we needed a new one because once Walcott was back, then that would push Alexis into um, the striker position, which would fill that in perfectly fine. And I think it would have been better if we concentrate on areas that we were really seriously, seriously short in, a.k.a. centre-back and centre-defensive mid. And then maybe get a striker just sort of like a icing on the cake, really. And then I reckon that we could have challenged much better if we had those players in place, sort of like, I, I would rather have Kadira than anyone else's centre-defensive mid because... He's he well he's a World Cup winner, plays for Real Madrid, everything like that. He's nearly made a hun over a hundred appearances for um, Real Madrid over his time there and everything. And he's very solid, strong, powerful. But if he, if we do need him, he can push up, sort of, which would be quite good. So if we're sort of trailing in a game, then Arsene Wenger can tell him just to push up a bit, and then we'll have more players attacking if that was needed. So. Yeah, we've got Galatasaray next, so yeah, I'll be doing a video on that, and then after that we've got Chelsea at Stamford Bridge, which personally I think without we've we've got so many injured players now without Ramsey, Arteta, Wilsh is a doubt. We've still got Walcott's not come come back yet. Diaby's still not fit fitness yet, and anything like that. We've we're really really thin on the ground. At the moment, we've got, I think, seven players injured so far or not fit enough to play. Or maybe more, I don't know, but it's around that figure. And I think, personally, we need to... I think Arsene Wenger's probably thinking about getting sort of a free agent in some positions just so we can sign them now and just sort of fill that gap until January when we can um, sort of... Um, get better players and but then you know there are some good free agents out there in those positions so yeah we might get it but personally i think in the chelsea game they're just going to walk straight over us we're going to have flamini at um center defensive mid which is by he's not he's he can't deal with sort of top players like that yeah he might do better in sort of smaller games with lesser teams i know there's not really any lesser teams like consistently lesser in the premier league but sort of not title contending teams and it's a shame that arteta got injured because he was having a good game at spurs and so was ramsey which was quite nice to see but now they've both got injured i think it's it was sort of um one step forward two steps back with them now so hopefully they can have a speedy recovery, get back. Walcott's meant to be back for, um, I think, the whole game. He's meant to be back in training around that time, which would be a big bonus for us, sort of add more pace to our team. So hopefully he'll come back. Diaby will stay fit. Ramsey and Arteta will come back better, stronger and more powerful. And yeah. I think we're going to win against Galatasaray, but I personally think we're going to lose against Chelsea. I, I don't want to be negative about it, but the, the how many injuries we've got. If we had a fully fit team and everyone was fit, I reckon that we would give them a run for their money. But um, 
at the moment with all these injuries and sort of doubts and everything, I don't think we're gonna. It's not gonna. We're not gonna win it. You never know. We might be lucky enough to get a draw, but. I think that's the best we can look at it for, but I reckon we'll win Galatasaray. But we've got to be on our A game for Galatasaray. We've got to stay on our A game the whole time and just keep pressing. I was impressed with the team um, at Spurs with like their possession of the ball, but they just need that end product. Once we sort of get that end product done, we'll be we we'll, we'll be winning so many more games now, and we would it would be much better. So yeah. So subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like the video, um, put comments in the comment box about how I can pr improve the um, video. So I'll see you.